Hello everyone, thanks again for joining me with Marie's Fast and Easy Cooking. Today we're going to be making a Spanish traditional dish called arroz con gandules with coconut water. To make four to five servings, you're going to be using two cups of long grain rice, two cans of coconut water, a can of tomato sauce, a can of gandules or green pigeon peas, small diced tricolored sweet bell peppers. I use for food coloring sazon with culantro and achote. I use a tablespoon of that, a tablespoon of black pepper, and a tablespoon of salt. I love olives, so you can put in some olives as much as you want to. And also an ounce of corn oil. Now for our herbs, today we're going to be using the cilantro. We all know what cilantro looks like. I wanted to show you this. This is called culantro or recaito as many call it. It's a long leaf. You'll find it at the Latin stores. Four to five cloves of fresh cloves of garlic. We're going to use that in the mortar or the pilon. And everything's going to be made in our olla de arroz, the pot of rice. Those are the items we're going to be needing today in order to make our arroz con gandules with coconut water. The first thing you're going to need to do is wash and rinse your rice. You want to make sure that you get all of the dust off the rice and it comes out clear. I use a colander, it makes it easy and you do it like so. Again. Wash and rinse. You can do it a couple of times when you feel that it is actually a little bit more clear the water when you're washing and rinsing the rice. And that is your first step. All right, I wanted to demonstrate to you a little bit how I use the pilon. I like to mash down a little bit my garlic. So I'm going to demonstrate to you what I do. I flatten it first as much as I can with a wide knife. After that is flattened, I put it in the mortar or the pilon and then I mash it. If you don't do that, what will happen is all the garlic will actually start falling out and we don't want that. So just a little demonstration of how to use the pilon and this is what it should look like. And now we're going to be moving to the stove where we're going to be cooking and mixing all of our ingredients. And here we are at the stove. We're going to be setting our levels to medium high. We're going to add our ounce of oil going to add some garlic, our herb cilantro and culantro along with our bell peppers, and our gandules. I'm going to mix that around a little bit. Make sure it gets all its flavors. Then we're going to add our Spanish olives, our tomato sauce, and this we're going to actually let simmer about one to two minutes. Let it grab its flavor and we'll be back. All right, and now that that has already simmered very nicely, smells really good, we're going to go ahead and add our food coloring, our sazon with our pepper and salt. And our coconut water. We're going to go ahead and let that actually boil, so we're going to give it about, about two to three minutes. And then we'll, back, we'll be back again with our final ingredient. 
And now that we're actually in a boil mode, we're going to go ahead and add our last and final ingredients, which is the rice. I'm going to put all that in there. Don't be afraid to use your hands unless they're dirty. Haha. <laughs> okay. And we're going to mix it all around. And I like to stand by my rice. We're going to let, let it sit about a couple of minutes. It's going to start to absorb all the fluids into the rice. I stand by mine, like I said, because I don't want it to get burned. So make sure you pay attention to it. And here we are standing patiently by the pot, waiting for fluids to be absorbed. Make sure you turn it a little bit so it won't get burned or stuck at the bottom. Once everything is actually absorbed into the rice, that's when we start to lower our temperature. All right, now that the fluids have been already absorbed by the rice, make it into a small little mountain. And then we're gonna go ahead and cover that and lower your temperature. We're gonna be using a medium low temperature. And we'll be back to actually check on our rice within 10 to 15 minutes. All right, now we're back at the stove. We wanna check on our rice. Wow, that's wonderful. Now we have to make sure that we actually mix our rice. Okay, so we're gonna turn the bottom to the top and the top to the bottom. Make sure to do this carefully because we don't want rice all over the stove. All right, let's see how it grows as it starts cooking. Okay, and then we'll be back to check on it a little bit later. Give it about 10 to 15 more minutes. Cover it and do what you need to do. Just make sure you'll be back in time. All right, now we're back at our stove, hopefully for the last time. Let's check on our rice. Nice. Okay, it looks like it's actually done. Turn it around, check on it. Perfect. All right. Looks like it's ready to actually be served and chopped down on. And here we are with our finished product, our succulent delicious arroz con gandules with coconut water. You can enjoy it with your favorite meat. Make sure to watch our upcoming videos with that. And again, thanks for joining me with Marie's Fast and Easy Cooking.